Was this mission 100% successful in terms of the science? I would have to say no. It was 1,000% successful. <laughs> we achieved all of our science objectives. But after two centuries of observing this fuzzy little blob of light among the stars, Earth now has a robotic emissary in orbit at Vesta. Ignition and liftoff of the Atlas V with Juno on a trek to Jupiter. By studying Jupiter, you're going to get one piece of the puzzle, um, not necessarily how life formed, but maybe how the ingredients that made up life eventually got spread around in the early solar system and got to us. We found something very interesting on Mars, a new class of active phenomena, flow features that we think might be due to briny water flowing actually on the surface of Mars today. like starting a whole new mission. Everything's so different that we're having to really start figuring out what's going on from scratch again. One, zero, and liftoff of the Delta II with Grail. Journey to the center of the moon. The part of lunar understanding that we don't yet have is what's inside the moon. GRAIL it is a mission that's going to study the interior structure and the evolution of the moon to tell us how the moon got to be how it is today. This is the closest approach by an asteroid that large that we've ever known about in advance. Main engine start, zero, and liftoff of the Atlas V with Curiosity. See conclusions to the planetary puzzle about life on Mars. We have spacecraft separation. And confirmation from our video system.